In the previous video, we talked about color conversions, and we saw in the output preview tool that we could simulate how our document would look in various output scenarios. This is the file guide.pdf, which is located in the working files in the Chapter 4 folder. Here we see a preview of the process output space with CMYK colors based upon US prepress standards. However, this is just a preview. And at this point, we haven't actually changed any colors. One of the best ways to actually do that conversion is with the preflight tool. Now, the preflight tool has many purposes besides converting colors. If we look here in the preflight dialog box, we can see that this tool encapsulates a huge amount of capability. And it boils down to two basic types of actions analysis, in which we would compare our PDF to a set of rules to see if there are any problems, and fix-ups, in which case we actually change the document using the rules listed here within the settings. The analysis action is signified by the magnifying glass icon, and the fix-ups are signified by the wrench icon. Now, not all the preset rules have both types of actions. And you can tell by looking at the icons next to the rule whether this rule will analyze or fix up or do both. Now, the way this works is that we choose the profile preset that we want to use and we run it, either analyze or analyze and fix. Now, with all the presets here, you might wonder how would we ever find the one that we're looking for. We can use this drop down list to filter them by category. Or we can show all and use the search box here to search for a term. For example, we want to convert spot colors to CMYK. So we can type convert. And here's our short list. We can choose convert to CMYK only swap, which will convert everything to CMYK and all spot colors are converted as well. Now we can click edit on any one of these preflight rules. And this opens a whole new dialog box. This dialog box contains all the rules associated with each of the preflight profiles. This is one of those dialog boxes that seems to go on forever. And we can all be happy that Adobe has already created many of these for us so that we rarely, if ever, have to venture into this territory unless we want to do so. Now we can run this profile by choosing Analyze and Fix. It will ask us to save a copy of our file since we're making changes, and we'll call this one guide-cmyk. And we'll click Save. The preflight profile runs, and we get a green check mark, which indicates success. If we see a red X, that indicates there was a problem, and we'll need to investigate what went wrong. We may also see a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark, which is not an error, but it's a warning. Something we'll also want to investigate and understand the reason for that warning. We can create a report and perhaps send that off to our print provider if we want to show what we've done. There are a huge number of capabilities within the preflight dialog box, and many are just analysis profiles. For example, we could list any text that's not using an embedded font. We could click on Analyze, and we see the results here. No problems found. We can get all manner of summaries using this dialog. As we'll see in a future video, when we start talking about compliance with standards, we'll see that we can use this tool to convert our document into a standards compliant document as well, with the click of a button. This is a powerful tool with a host of in-depth capabilities. Chances are, if there's some change you need to make to your PDF document, the ability is right here within the preflight tool.